My name is Michael Lehman, and this is Trailers from Hell. The Man Who Fell to Earth, one of Nick Rogue's really good films, tons of fun, very stylish, really great. You will love it. So this movie, which is uh, one of the best Alien Comes to Earth movies ever made, is being sold pretty much entirely on David Bowie, which made a lot of sense. I remember at the time when it came out that it, me and my friends, we all wanted to see, could this guy act? The big question was, you know, here's a, here's a rock star, here's somebody who has this uh, manufactured personality, this uh, persona as the, as the alien, the space oddity, all that sort of thing. And I remember thinking, well, this is probably the perfect vehicle for him. If he can pull it off, can he act? And you know what? He can act. And he does quite a job with this film, which I think in spite of its somewhat dated quality is, is very contemporary, very much ahead of its time in, 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 in terms of content, and really fun to watch, really beautifully made. And Nick Rogue always had wonderful camera work, great visuals, tons of energy. He sort of carried on the British uh, style. It was popular in the mid-60s, but by the time 1976 rolled around, I think he'd really perfected a lot of what he did. And he just made a really terrific, interesting, odd, very odd movie. Um, it's based on a novel by Walter Tevis, who wrote that great pool movie, The Hustler. Paul Meyersberg wrote the script. It is way out there. Great performances by Bowie, by Rip Torn, by uh, Buck Henry with the biggest magnifying glasses ever seen in a pair of eyeglasses. One of the things about the movie that's so much fun to watch is how prescient it is, how uh, Bowie's character basically invents a digital camera, and he basically invents some sort of, you know, magic music machine, kind of like an MP3 player. And he's so hyperactive, he's so not of this earth that he has to watch multiple television sets so he doesn't get bored. He's constantly coming up with ideas, and of course all he wants to do is, you know, drink his water and go home. Uh, the other thing that's kind of wonderful about it is the way the alien is portrayed, how he looks. He looks like David Bowie, but then you find out he really looks bald with weird, weird yellow eyes. And, and, uh, and I still remember, my, my one enduring memory of this movie is Candy Clark peeing in her pants when she sees David Bowie as an alien for the first time. It's worth the price of admission.